Good day, guys. Bing here. Um, today we are going to quickly talk about area plans and also area schedule. Okay, so let's start. So first, um, let's create a project. So in this project, uh, I'm going to I'll just roughly uh, create some property lines. So uh, I'll draw a rectangular shape. So maybe that's it. Okay. So finish and then. So these are title boundary. So now I'm going to draw some wall W A and uh, let's pretend this our this is our building. Okay. So and that's it. that's that's it. Oops, uh, looks like uh, we need to flip the wall to make sure the exterior face is facing uh, exterior, ex external. Okay, so this is our building. So now we need to create an uh, area plan. So currently, uh, this is floor plans. Okay, so you, you won't be able to place area. So you will see, you won't be able to place area on a floor plan. So you need to create an area plan. So you can do it from here or you can do it from here. So on the view, plan view, area plan. So if after you uh, click on area plan, so there are two options. So rentable is interior. So for internal area and gross building is ex external. So if you, if, you, uh, if you choose rentable and uh, place Air, uh, area boundary. So remember, so when you place area boundary, you won't be able to pick uh, which side of the wall. Okay. So if you if you use rentable, the area boundary will always go to the internal side of the, wall, uh, the area. Sorry, of the wall. But if you use gross building, so it will always go to the ex external face of the wall. So let's create a gross building. So because we are going to use this area plan to calculate some uh, building coverage. Okay, so, and Revit will ask you, uh, do you want to automatically create some area boundary line associated with external walls? Yes, please. So now you will see this purple line. So these are area boundary. It will automatically create around, uh, on your external walls of the building. Okay, so you can, they are, uh, you can still so if you don't want this one you can still delete it you can still go uh, manually so go uh, go to area uh, area boundary so you can still so uh, man manually so you can pick pick line so for example you pick if you pick a wall it will all automatically go to the external side okay so and of course you can oh sorry wrong one you can also draw it if you want to. So for example, I'll just draw this. So I'll include, I want to include this area into this, into the, so let me call this building maybe. Okay, so, and then we just need to just uh, split it, trim, and maybe delete this part. And you don't need to worry about the, all this uh, gap or this, it won't affect uh, your uh, the, the the area, so this is it. So you can always adjust them if you want to. So probably you need to flip, uh, tr make sure it's it's closed. Okay. So and also um, another thing is so s similar to room. So you will be able to find the area here. And also if you, you if, if you use uh, VV. Uh, visibility graphic override so you can go to uh, area so here so and the turn check these two box so you will be able to see the color and also this this X just similar to the room so if I place a room here so VV and go to room it's a uh, the same thing okay so this is a room and this is area so 
Okay, so now let's uh, have a look of area schedule. So, but before that, I uh, I want to create some more area because um, uh, we we wanted to calculate the the coverage, so the percentage of this building uh, relative to the site. So uh, go to um, area. So you won't be able to place area here. Because currently we don't have any area boundary. So see this purple line? So we need to go uh, click on this area boundary. And also you won't be pick, you won't be able to pick this area uh, uh, title title boundary. You need to draw it. Okay, so the easiest way is just draw a rectangular box to match this title boundary. And also I want to draw extra lines. So it will be start from here to here. And also here to here, so I will use this. Uh, uh, maybe let me see if I can drag this to. Ah, that looks like uh, that doesn't affect um, that. Anyway, that's so. This I'll use this as as a, a private open space. So now we can add area to these two areas. So one's here, and the other ones uh, here. Okay, so I'll call this one, maybe just call it external uh, area. And I'll call this one uh, uh, private open space POS. And then we're going to use a area schedule to, to oh, hey, what's this? Uh, looks like, oh, sorry, that's a room. So don't worry about that. Um, Okay, so now we have, so you just need to make, make sure, so all the areas uh, play, all the, the areas are placed in the whole um, site. There's no area leave um, blank. So, I mean, uh, I said blank, which mean, uh, I mean, if you create a line here, so for example, I draw, so this means uh, it's blank. There's nothing there, so just make sure all these, uh, the entire site is being covered by area. So let me just delete this. So now we can create a area schedule. Okay, so go to uh, view schedule and create a area. So and then make sure is it is area gross building because this is the area plan gross building. Okay, so and okay, so now we are going to add the name parameter and also the area. I think, yeah. So now if I click OK, you will see the three. So one, two, three different area. So now let me just. This is the floor plan. I'll just close this one and the WT. So we can see both the area plan and this area schedule. So now we need to get the percentage. Okay, so, so let's just click on this uh, area schedule, go to fields, and we need to add this, so add a calculated parameter. So I'll call this a uh, building coverage. Okay, and choose the percentage and of area. Yep, correct. And by grand total. Yes. So if you click OK and um, click OK, so now you will see this is the percentage of each area. So for example, this building is 56% of the whole site. And you can also um, for example, if we wanted to to um, see, so in uh, you can change the unit of these. So for example, this one, you can go to formatting and uh, select area. So for example, select area. We will change this to change to um, one decimal uh, place and OK. And the coverage the same. Uh, we're going to change this to one decimal place, and OK. 
and okay so now you will see uh, this will be better I'll explain okay so now what we're going to do is I want um, Revit to tell me when this area is um, it's larger it's bigger than 60% for example so now we can just go there edit um, I think formatting yep so click on this uh, building coverage and then here so go to condition formatting format and then you can just add this so it will be area so oh sorry it will be building coverage okay so building coverage then greater than greater than uh, 60 so I'll ch change this uh, background color so maybe I'll just uh, make it red so you will see it here so the conditions building coverage uh, larger than um, greater than 60 and I click OK and click OK so now if we change so uh, this building so for example if I move one of the wall and see when it's a uh, greater than 60 it will turn red okay now let's try another one so this time uh, we're going to try the p uh, private private open space so the the condition for private opens is uh, slightly uh, more complicated than the building coverage so uh, in Victoria um, I'm not sure about uh, other states or in other country but in Victoria it's uh, 80 it's minimum 80 percent so it oh sorry not 80 percent uh, minimum 80 uh, square meter or a 20 percent of the total site area so whichever is uh, lesser okay so and and also minimum 40 square meter so so you can't uh, have less than 40 because when you have a site uh, for example a 400 square meter site 20 percent of 400 is 80 so it's the same but if you have a if you have a 200 square meter site so uh to, 20% of 200 will be 40 so you can have 40 it's still comply but if you have your site is so only 180 square meter and 20% of 180 is 36 which is which uh, won't uh, meet this 40 minimum 40 square so even you have a 180 square meter of site you still need to have 40 square meter of private open space okay so so for a site larger than this so for example you have a, a 800 square meter site you still only need 80 square meter because 20 percent of 80 is, is 180 but whichever is lesser so 880 or 160 which means 80 so okay so now let's um, add another one so we're going to add another uh, the column here so just go uh, fields and add another um, calculation or calculated parameter let's call it a POS area all good okay and uh, let's go to formatting select this POS so first let's just add one decimal place and also click on the condition format so now um, unfortunately um, I don't think we can do this uh, to all these conditions at all these conditions here because we can only use and so for example if I add this one less than 20% 20% so this is one condition we can add another condition but it can only be end so for example if I add another one area less than for example 80 and you will see this will be end 
so I don't think this will work here um, to be honest I'm not sure how to make it work but if you know how please let me know okay so so the only thing I can do is here is let me just clear or just only use this one less than 20% okay so at least if I click OK now at least when the POS the percentage of the POS is smaller than 80% oh sorry 20% let me try to pick the wall here so if I reduce so oh actually oh sorry I, I think I forgot to change the color background color so go format POS condition change this color so and okay and okay okay and okay so now you will see it become red right so okay so let's try to select this wall again so let's try so currently it's not it's not compile it's uh, less than 20 percent okay so when it's uh, greater when it's bigger than 20 percent it will okay Um, but there, there's still some limitation of this um, because we can't add all uh, these conditions into that um, so for example if I mm, increase the size of this site and although um, let me just move this wall down a little bit so you will see this currently this uh, complies it's still showing red because uh, the percentage of POS here is smaller than 20 so um, it's it's not perfect but at least this uh, area schedule will help you to check all the, the the compliance or the percentage okay so let's uh, have another let's just have another try so if I move these down see it's a uh, yeah rivet tell me oh too big the building is too big yeah all good and that's it for today um, uh, tomorrow we will try a different method so we are going to create a family it will be a annotation family so which will just we can place it here just put in some number it will calculate all the percentage or whether uh, comply or not comply okay so that's for tomorrow so um, thank you for watching I'll see you see you tomorrow bye